Hi everyone, my name is Mariam. Um, I'm a third year student and I study Biomedical Sciences at the Canterbury campus here at the University of Kent. Hi everyone, my name is Maya. I'm a third year law student studying at the University of Kent's Canterbury campus. So what's student life like with the COVID restrictions? It's been different, definitely. I think because Kent is usually such a social university because it's a campus university, I feel like it's been quite a shock to the system. Of course, with all the COVID restrictions, there's a lot of one-way systems and such, but it is easy to get the hang of for the most part. I would definitely say things have been easier since September, like the, the lecture recordings and the online classes have been like making a bit more sense. You know, it's been a bit easier to get into a routine with things, knowing that like on Monday and Tuesday, my lectures come out. So yeah, it's not too bad. Is it easy to balance study and other activities during lockdown? Um, I would say that there's like not as many distractions maybe post lockdown. Uh, like there's not that like Wednesday and Friday clubbing habit. Sometimes tips the balance like with more work than social just because the social stuff is a bit difficult right now. But at the same time, Canterbury is so nice that when we need a break to go for a walk, we can just walk around the area and it's so pretty, especially with the weather getting a bit nicer as well. But there has been a lot of online activities that societies have been putting on for if you want a break or if you just want like a little distraction away from work, which is really nice. The science department have like Tuesday coffee mornings. We can go and like talk to some of the lecturers about like life after uni and they give you a bit of like personal advice. What facilities are available to help you study remotely? Almost every accommodation has its own study hub because sometimes the library yeah. can be quite a trip. And if you don't want to walk away there, you can just go to one of your study hubs, which is really nice. So the library um, is open till 4 p.m. nowadays. All the campus study hubs are open till midnight, actually. So you've got Elliot, Keynes. You've probably had it as well. There's loads of like forums on Moodle that people are using. What's your typical day or week like? Monday, I have like a a 9 to 3 p.m. sort of day, Tuesday is the same. Wednesday I usually have like a, a couple of meetings with my supervisors and stuff. Then I'll like hand in what I've done so far of my dissertation to my supervisor and then like I can work on it the next week. The second half of my week is pretty much where the majority of my seminars are. So I use the first half of my week just to do some like revision, assignments, maybe do some like create some content as well. How do you stay social at uni with your friends during lockdown? Well, mainly I've just been like hanging out with housemates for the most part. Um, we've been trying to do different stuff just to like keep ourselves entertained, like maybe like have a cocktail night. Yeah. It's just little things like that. And obviously, like I said, going for walks as well is really nice. So you can always walk to like Windsheep. Um, it's just mm. really, really seen it. That's really nice, actually. Yeah, I would say the same. Like most of my social interactions have been with my housemates you're in your room all day trying to sort yourself out and like get things done and then you're like oh I should go say hi to my friends like come on we have to do something on this like this Wednesday like yeah it's forced us to be like more creative of what we're doing what well-being services are available at Kent I'm loads actually I would say I did this assignment a few months ago and I actually had COVID at the time. Uh, I had tested positive and I was like really struggling to get the assignment done. And they actually gave me an extension, which was really nice, but I, I still felt like I had underperformed basically. And she actually then forwarded me to the wellbeing people just to be like, you should apply for a, um, a, some sort of concession. They've been handing out like lots of like general help to everyone, you know, like every week we might get an email about what you could do that week, like if there's any tea, coffee mornings that you could join that week and stuff like that. One of the things that I've taken like full advantage of is the um, flexible deadlines that we have now and it's like such a weight off my shoulders so it's nice to see that the university are like thinking about us in that way. What are you looking forward to most being back at Kent? It's definitely being able to see fully what Kent has to offer in terms of the social aspect. I think it is Kent's, one of the university's biggest selling points. Like there's a cinema, there's a club on campus, there's a bunch of restaurants. So I think that's one thing that everyone should look forward to when they come back in September. There's Canterbury is one of those places that is just full of potential. Like the scenery is great. You're surrounded by beaches and seaside. What do you like most about being a University of Kent student? I say this all the time, but like all the opportunity, people are always willing to like make something happen for you or like 
gave you an opportunity. The university have been really, really supportive in terms of like law and careers in law. I applied for this um, university because I knew it was a top 20 law school, but I didn't understand how good of a law school it was until I actually came here and realized it's not like you just graduate and they just leave you alone. Like they're always going to be here to help out.